Hello quilting and pro stitcher users. This is Julie Pettyjohn. I just finished a quilt. I checked the back. I found a mistake and had to go back and fix it and thought I would make an impromptu video. So uh, view with me and see how I go about fixing this. Hey long armors, I want to show you something that may happen to you. I had finished this quilt, so it's it's totally finished, right? I was checking my back before I took it off and I saw that there was a place where the stitching wasn't quite right. Then I got to looking and I saw that I had some stitching missing. So I think what happened is that I ran out of bobbin and I didn't realize it. I came over and thought that I was, I, that it was done. But you can see, Okay, there's, you can see where the needles were. So there's a circle right there. And then there, this was the only part I had seen on the back. And then I got to looking when I turned it around on the front to fix it and noticed, oh, then the stitching goes through here. There's like a little circle, a diamond, another little circle, and some other stitching that goes right along here. It's really easy to put your crosshairs, put your, your little laser light down, and that's the crosshairs on your tablet, and you do uh, an auto start, uh, a new start and end, auto, one time, two times, and that sets your start point. Okay, that's pretty easy to do. However, it's not always that easy to get it right, right on the spot it might be a little off. So sometimes that can make like double lines. But here, the good part is that besides the needle holes in here in the quilt, which will go away with some spritzing of water, that um, since it hasn't been stitched yet, I won't get double rows. And since this is a loose enough design, it won't really show if it's just a little bit off. So that's the good news, I'm not gonna have to go uh, back over anything, but let me show you what I do to get this started. Okay, so I'm going, first of all, when I got back up here, I wasn't in the right place. Um, so my design was not in the right place at all, so I did drag and drop. So number one was a drag and drop. When I've had to do drag and drop on this quilt, right here at the end of this diamond shape, has been a really good place for me. So what I did was uh, I found it, I found my spot on my quilt or on my cute computer, excuse me. I always think C comes before Q in the alphabet. So I match the computer first, then the quilt. So I put it right here and I found on my computer uh, I believe, I've already done it, but I believe it was like way down in here. And I push drag. Right, right after you touch drag, the name changes to drop. So then I just go up and find the place on my quilt that I want that design to drop spot on. So I'm going to push drag on my computer and it's like I grabbed hold of that design and said, I wanna drag it right up here and I wanna drop it right here. So that's what I did. However, I'm gonna zoom in and I suggest when you're doing drag and drop, zoom way in on your computer uh, to get it exact. Cause you can look on a, a big pulled out view, you can look like you're on it and you're not really. So I'm gonna look right in here. That's my drag, because I'm not quite, I almost am right there, drop. I was just like a, a millimeter away. Okay, so now I'm gonna check a few other points and I'm going to say, let's see, this is the side of the diamond. Let's see, on my tablet, my crosshairs are right at the side of the diamond on the quilt. So I'm going to go to modify, reposition, and push my design down one time. Okay, because it's just these little increments can make a world of difference. What I'm going to select, you can't see my tablet, but it's just Pro Stitcher, then New Start and End, and then I hit this under the Start column, the Auto button one time, and two times. 
and that puts my green start button right there. Now, before I just start out stitching, what I wanna do is uh, under Pro Stitch, I wanna go to quilt, and then I want to take off my, um, my stitch and so I can air stitch. So let me show, it, show you what that looks like. All right, here I am at the tablet. You can see my start that I got there. And I did that by going to new start and end. And see, I touched this auto one time and then two times. I want to air stitch it first. So if I just hit stitch, all those green goes away. So it's not gonna put any thread down now. Here we are back at the quilt. So now I'm going to hit run and proceed. Aha, so see that may not really be, oh, that's not where I want it. So having to go back and stitch on a row that's already stitched is pretty, pretty tough to get it spot on. I don't want to start here because then I'm going to have a circle that doesn't line up with the circle. So I'm going to move, now I'm going to hit cancel so I can move my machine. Then I'm gonna put it at this spot, which is about an inch from where it looks like the thread stopped. So I'm going to put it right here and then I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna go back to Pro Stitcher, new start and end under the start, auto one time, auto two times. One time puts it on, two times just disengages that, that button. I don't need it anymore. So now I'm still gonna air stitch just to make sure. So I'm going to go to quilt, run, and proceed. Ah, that's where I'm gonna want it. All right. Okay, now you can see it's not exactly on that needle mark, but I think it's gonna be great. So I'm gonna pause that cancel it. Now I have to go back to Pro Stitcher and where that stitch button where I turned it off, I now need to make it green plus select my start and ends and my pull up and pull up auto, which are the things I like. So now I'm ready to actually lay down some thread. So let's see if we can fix this. Now see, it's a little off from there, but not perfect but and sometimes what you can do too is just push a little on the quilt just to make a little bit of difference so see what I'm doing I'm pulling just a little bit right down here with my thumb and then I'm gonna pause this right here so I can get that thread out of there and I want to get this thread snipped out of the way so I don't stitch over it. And I'm going to resume. That may still have hold of the bobbin, like if I pulled the long arm all the way to the side, I might be pulling the, long, the uh, bobbin thread all along there. So I'm gonna go down and up. See, you can see the bobbin there. And I wanna snip that so that I make sure I have a really good, I'm, and I, I pull it up so I don't have a wad under there because see from here to here, that was loose. That could have nested under there. And then I'm gonna snip that. We're gonna start all over again. Pro stitch your quilt, run and proceed. And there we go. Pull up that bobbin. Grab hold of my bobbin and my top thread. that last time, but that's kind of a good thing that it did, so I can show you that you do need to snip your bobbin and then start it again. So 
So now I'm going to need to uh, roll this so I can check the back and make sure the back looks good. So that's something that can happen and you need when you need a fix on a quilt. I hope that helps somebody. Thanks for watching.